Way too early top 25 rankings for the 2017-18 college basketball season. Quickly. North Carolina may have won the national title Monday night, but look for Arizona to cut down the nets after the 2017-18 college basketball season. North Carolina may have claimed the national title Monday night, but the Tar Heels don't even crack the top 5 in SI's way too early top 25. Here's a first look at the rankings for the 2017-18 college basketball season. Way too early college basketball top 25. 1. Arizona Wildcats. Sophomore guard Alonzo Trier and 6 feet 5 inches freshman Raul Alkins should return and join the nation's top freshman, 6 feet 11 inches center Deon Drayton. 2. Kentucky Wildcats. UK is in great shape to land 6 feet 11 inches center Mohamed Bamba, who alongside 6 feet 8 inches forward PJ Washington and 6 feet 11 inches forward Nick Richards would form another stellar recruiting class. 3. Louisville Cardinals. The Cardinals will probably lose 6 feet 3 inches sophomore Donovan Mitchell to the draft, but three other starters, including point guard Quentin Snyder, will be back. 4. Duke Blue Devils. The Blue Devils are hoping Grayson Allen returns to team up in the backcourt with rising star Frank Jackson, a 6 feet 3 inches freshman. 5. Villanova Wildcats. Three seniors are leaving, but 6 feet 2 inches sophomore Jalen Brunson is back. So is stud freshman forward Amari Spellman, who was ineligible this season. 6. Gonzaga Bulldogs. The Zags could reach consecutive Final Fours featuring Zach Collins, a 7 feet 0 inches freshman who came off the bench this season. 7. North Carolina Tar Heels. Freshman forward Tony Bradley's return, Luke May's breakout and the arrival of 6 feet 3 inches freshman Jalek Felton will make the heels tough to beat, again. Get your North Carolina championship gear. 8. Michigan State Spartans. Tom Izzo shored up his size issues by signing two big recruits, 6 feet 11 inches Jaron Jackson and 6 feet 9 inches Xavier Tillman. If 6 feet 8 inches freshman Nick Ward bypasses the NBA draft, that would give the Spartans an imposing, albeit young, front court. 9. Wichita State Shockers. The Shockers went 31-5 and pushed Kentucky to the brink without a single senior in their rotation. 10. Minnesota Golden Gophers. The Gophers lose just one senior starter from a squad that closed hard and finished fourth in the Big Ten. 11. Kansas Jayhawks. Frank Mason and Josh Jackson aren't coming back, but there is plenty of perimeter talent remaining in Lawrence, especially with the addition of Mississippi State transfer Malik Newman. Bill Self really needs a big win in the spring signing period. 12. Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Bonzi Colson could be the ACC's preseason player of the year, and tough as nails point guard Matt Farrell will be back for his senior season. Mike Bray expects incoming guard DJ Harvey, a DeMatha grad, to play heavy minutes. 13. USC Trojans. Unlike last year, Andy Enfield is not losing underclassmen to the NBA. He is also adding Derek Thornton a 6 feet 1 inch transfer from Duke, and Charles O'Bannon Jr., a top 50 recruit with UCLA bloodlines. 14. Cincinnati Bearcats. The Bearcats will lose senior point guard Troy Copain, but their top three scorers will return. Freshman guard Jaron Cumberland is an NBA prospect who is bound for a breakout sophomore season. 15. West Virginia Mountaineers. The Mountaineers are only losing two senior starters. The team's top scorers, Javon Carter and Asamad, will be back. 16. South Carolina Gamecocks. It will be easier for the Gamecocks to avoid a Final Four hangover if sophomore guard P.J. Dozier returns. Freshman guard Rakim Felder showed his considerable potential during the tournament as well. 17. 
Butler Bulldogs. Leading scorer Kellen Martin will be back for his senior year, and freshman Kamar Baldwin is well on his way to being one of the best players this program has produced. 18. Virginia Cavaliers. The Cavaliers are losing senior point guard London Prince and three transfers, but freshman guards Ty Jerome and Kyle Guy have the ability to be dynamic scorers. 19. UCLA Bruins. Replacing Lonzo Ball, DJ Leaf, Isaac Hamilton and Bryce Alford won't be easy, but 6 feet 1 inch sophomore Aaron Holiday will shine as a starter again, and Steve Alford has another top flight recruiting class headlined by 6 feet 7 inches forward Crease Wilkes. 20. St. Mary's Gales. Only two of the Gales' top eight scorers were seniors this season. If 6 feet 11 inches junior Jock Londale returns, he will garner All-America acclaim. 21. Florida Gators. The Gators are only losing two starters, but they need to hope that 6 feet 8 inches junior forward Devin Robinson, who is entering the NBA draft but not hiring an agent, returns for his senior year. 22. Northwestern Wildcats. With seven of their top eight scorers returning, the Wildcats are ready to prove that this season was no fluke. 23. Michigan Wolverines. Another year of improvement by sophomore forwards Moritz Wagner and DJ Wilson should help overcome the departures of senior guards Derek Walton and Zach Irvine. 24. TCU Horned Frogs. The Horned Frogs ended their season by winning the NIT and their top six scorers will return for Jamie Dixon's second season. 25. Xavier Musketeers. Junior point guard Edmund Sumner has entered the NBA draft and will sign with an agent, but 6 feet 6 inches junior Trevin Blueyet could be the Big East preseason player of the year. Incoming 6 feet 3 inches guard Paul Scruggs should have an immediate impact, too. 2.